What is going on, you Italian mermaids? <laughs> today, I'm Chris, and today on Nostalgia Dig, we are going to keep going on this big box of toys that I got from eBay. This is the third video in, I believe, and there's more than I thought here. There's a lot in here. So, without further ado, let's dig in. Okay. At first I thought clearly this is a My Little Pony knockoff toy, but then I saw it's a cutie mark and it appears to be Minnie Mouse. But this horse is wearing shoes. <laughs> All right, I'm I don't know what's going on here. Copyright 2013 Mattel and copyright Disney. Okay, so this is a Mattel and Disney collaboration of some sort. I I don't know what, what it would be. I don't know if My Little Pony is Mattel or not. They might be. This might be just like a weird mashup between My Little Pony and Disney. Otherwise... That's, I mean, that's my best guess. Otherwise, I have no idea what this is. Uh, funny. Interesting. All right, we have this little plush. Yeah, just a plush. It says Secret Life of Pets on it. Sweet Pea. I'm glad it has that information because I wouldn't have remembered that. I did see that movie. It didn't make much of an impression on me, honestly. Like, I, I wanted to like it more than I liked it, I think. I heard the ride at Universal Studios in California is really good, though. I, I would be psyched to go on that. Someday. Someday, maybe. California is far away from here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have this Bendy figure. This might be like a Disney Junior situation. And it says copyright Manhattan Toys. It doesn't say copyright Disney. Oh, on the feet it says Groovy Girls Valana. If I'm reading that right, it's very small and in cursive, but I think it says Valana. One thing I can say, the sculpt on her hair is amazing. Look at the curls on that. It's really good. Wow. You know, the... They say, like, you didn't have to go that hard. They went real hard on sculpting the curls <laughs> on this figure. <laughs> so I give them props for that. Oh, cool. One Punch Man. This is um, Saitama. I loved that anime. I, I really like anime. I don't watch as much of it as I would like to, but I definitely watched One Punch Man season one. I don't think season two is out yet, at least in the States. I'm really looking forward to it because I just love, absolutely adore the sense of humor in this show. The opening credits and the opening theme are amazing, like tier one level opening credits for any show. I love it. Yeah, Saitama. I think this is a Funko Mini, maybe? If Funko has a lot of different lines. Their pop finals are the most popular and the most widely known. But they have quite a few different lines. Some of them have been discontinued, I believe. Uh, but yeah, that's what this strikes me as. Could be wrong. Saitama. Alright, this is another Lego looking piece to something. I, I'm i into it. If there's enough Lego stuff in here to make a thing, I'm into that challenge. We'll see, though. It could just be a rando piece. Okay, we have... Is it Chipper Dale? I'm going to say Dale because he's got the, the redder fur. Could be, it's a 50-50 chance. <laughs> Could be wrong. 
sometimes they draw them and, and color them exactly the same, and other times they color them very differently. And it has Epcot Center on his back. So this might have been from one of the World Showcase Pavilions? China Pavilion? Just a guess. So he's doing Tai Chi. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I really like this. This was probably... Unless they did a special McDonald's thing, this is probably from Epcot Center. I still say Epcot Center. It's just Epcot now. When I was a kid, it was called Epcot Center. And when I first went there as a kid, that's what it was called. So that just sticks in my brain. And it actually says Ep Epcot Center on his back. So they're calling back to that. I don't think this is an older toy because of the design, but I don't know. Fun. I like that one. That's a good one. Tiny lady. Here's for scale. Yeah. Very small. Like Polly Pocket. I don't know if that's what this is, but it's it's very, very tiny. Alright, we have this uh, baby with a lot of eye makeup on. Shirt that says Cool Cat. The baby's wearing a lot of makeup. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Okay, we have a penguin here. Busting a move. Thinkway Toys. There was a penguin movie called Happy Feet. Animated. And I believe it was dancing related. I never saw it, but I think it had something to do with dancing and penguins. This penguin appears to be dancing. That's my best guess, that this is a tie-in to Happy Feet, the movie. <laughs> Ooh, is this a Pokemon? Tiny Pokemon? I don't know which one it is. My Pokemon knowledge falls off greatly after the first generation or whatever has been on Pokemon Go. <laughs> I don't recognize this one. I'm not sure what it is. It's very cute. Okay, we have a fancy horse with a sparkly saddle. Ready for, uh... Oh, what's it called when they do the horse dancing in the Olympics? Dressage? Is that what it's called? I saw the best one at this past Olympics, the past Summer Olympics. Someone did the dis dressage to the safety dance, that song, The Safety Dance. And I just, someone put a clip of it on Facebook, and I was absolutely enamored and enraptured in, in watching this. Because <laughs> it's just like, they just sit on the horse and they just dance like this. Just go look it up. <laughs> it's ridiculous and wonderful. I'll then just look it up. Okay. A human torso. <laughs> oh, Pokemon. Tomy. So this is part of a trainer, a Pokemon trainer. Put that aside. Alright, another one of these little guys. A very cool. Darth Maul here with the cloak. That's a good look. This is dangerous for me because the fact that I now have confirmed two of the Star Wars versions of these means I think officially when you have more than one of something, it's it's a collection and I'm going to want more. <laughs> Hopefully they're cheap. This one's really cool. I like this little Darth Maul. Whoa. Whoa. He has an on-off switch. It's it's doing things. Um That was way more than I expected. <laughs> Actually it freaked me out a little bit. I think these are called fingerlings. Fingerlings? 
I I feel like I've seen them in the stores. They're made to wrap around your finger. Yeah, cool. So I guess that's what they do. I didn't think they actually did stuff. Oh my. <laughs> I've actually, I really like it. I really like this thing. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh yeah, you're going off. I told him I was gonna turn it off and it immediately started protesting. AI is is getting away from us. <laughs> uh, yeah. It says copyright 2017. Wowie with two W's and two E's. I think they're called fingerlings. Very cute. <laughs> Very surprising. That might be the most surprised I've actually been on one of these videos so far. <laughs> See the back here? Have a little ballerina Barbie. No information. Little little figure. Shoe. A mini skateboard from Monsters University, I think. Terry and Terry drinking a can of Blort soda. <laughs> yeah, Disney Pixar. I remember liking Monsters University. I only saw it once, but I liked it. Not as much as the first one, but again, I, I thought it was good. It's like a tech deck. Is that what they were called? The little like finger skateboards. People were really into that. I I, I didn't get that. I wasn't a skateboarder at all, so. Being a finger skateboarder did not appeal to me in any way. But, you know, to each their own. I know they were very popular. Okay, we have a little ship here. Looks very Star Wars. Not sure what ship that would be. But, really cool. I'm not sure if it was supposed to hook onto something or if it's just this was how it came. Cool. Cool. Like it. Okay, this is a uh, little airplane with eyes. I know they did a movie called Planes that was sort of like Cars, but with planes. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how related it was to the Cars universe, other than the fact that it visually looked that way. Oh, this is like a Transformer, too. Oh, so it's got little arms and legs that pop out. So... It doesn't say Disney anywhere that I can see. So that casts a little doubt in my mind that this is an actual Disney thing from the movie Planes. I think it might just be a weird little Transformer. And that makes me like it quite a bit, actually. <laughs> He's really fun. Yeah, neat. And it just pops back down and he's ready to fly away again. Okay, we have a really uh, serious looking weapon here. <laughs> Hopefully figure out who this goes to. An old star on the side. Looks like some functionality. Some sort. Firing mechanism. Okay, I think this is... Young Gru from Despicable Me. Got some rocket skates on. Made for McDonald's 2019. I get them mixed up. There was a Minions movie and then there was Despicable Me 3. I'm not sure which one would have come out that year, but I know at one point they did a flashback to a younger Gru. I, I liked the first Despicable Me movie. I think because of the Minions explosion and popularity, they may have gone a little too ham with the franchise. <laughs> but for the most part, fun, fun movies. 
Okay, we have a Mickey and Daisy Mobile with their uh, silhouettes on the side. This is copyright Disney. There's a silhouette of a little bird in between them. I don't know if that's supposed to signify something or if this was from a cartoon that I don't know about. I know that they did. They do have a cartoon with these characters on Disney Junior that I have not really seen. So it might be taken from that. But yeah, look, look at them. They're driving around. <laughs> Look, they're ready to take a drive. It's fun. It's a fun design. Okay, we're gonna end this video there with that one. Um, might be halfway through. Maybe. <laughs> there's, there's a lot in this box. So if you're enjoying these videos, I encourage you to subscribe. That helps me out a lot. It's the best thing that you can do for me right now. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next dig. Bye.